was at almost 85% uh, 10 years ago, and now it is at 60%. And conversely, the unplanned outage factor is really shooting up. South Africa is in the midst of an energy crisis. This week, power utility ESCOM announced level four load shedding, resulting in widespread blackouts across the country. What does this mean for the economic growth prospects of South Africa, and can this situation be rectified? Well, in this extract from an exclusive client briefing, John Endres, a senior analyst at the Center for Risk Analysis, explains the origins of the current crisis and why only radical policy reform can turn the situation around. If you enjoyed this analysis, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. But there's one elephant in the room that we are placing front and center because it is so important, and that is ESCOM. So ESCOM is a state-owned enterprise. It's a power utility that is in terrible, terrible trouble. It is in financial trouble. Um, it has debt that far exceeds its, its revenue. Um, it is uh, beset by underperformance. It is uh, possibly in a utility death spiral in the sense that it keeps on having to increase its prices to generate more revenue. But the more it increases its prices, the more people shift to alternative energy forms and stop using ESCOM services. So the chart we show you here is from uh, ESCOM directly. And the green bars show us something called the energy availability factor. And that is how much of ESCOM's generating capacity is actually available to generate capacity and this is a week by week overview from a year ago until today. And we see that the generating, the actual capacity sort of fluctuates between 63, 70 and 60%. There's something called the planned outage factor, which are the yellow bars. And this shows us how much production capacity is actively taken out of uh, production by ESCOM for maintenance and repairs. And of course, that is then not available for production, but um, it is nev nevertheless reflected in the in these statistics. And we also see here that um, this planned outage factor is lower during the winter months when demand for electricity is higher, and it is um, higher during the summer months when there's more scope to do maintenance. Enjoying this analysis? Click here to sign up for our 30-day free trial for more content from the CIA. The red bars are the unplanned outage factor, and these are equipment breakdowns. This is equipment failure that is not expected, not anticipated, um, and which causes a great deal of trouble, of course. Um, what is noticeable here is that these equipment failures, the red bars, are larger than the yellow bars. So more equipment is failing than is being maintained, and that is of great concern. There's a a rest quantity, which is the other outage factor, but that is quite a small quantity. So looking at this, you might say, well, you know, these levels haven't really changed much over the past year and things could keep going the way they are. It's not great, you know, there's uh, rolling blackouts from time to time, but overall the situation seems to be pretty stable. However, if we look at a longer time period, as in this case from 2011 to today, this is what we see. We see that the energy, energy availability factor is on a downhill slope. It was at almost 85% uh, 10 years ago, and now it is at 60%. And conversely, the unplanned outage factor is really shooting up. And our read is that there's, uh, the spell is very, very significant trouble for the South African economy. Because when the electricity supply is not reliable, um, of course, Investors are reluctant to invest in factories. Factories can't work properly. Uh, service industries are disrupted. And all of this strangles or, or uh, uh, constrains the economy. It, it prevents the economy from growing as much as it possibly could otherwise. We also think that ESCOM as a state-owned enterprise cannot fix this problem in the short to medium term. It carries too much debt. Um, it carries, it's overstaffed um, and the challenges it faces are effectively insurmountable for it in the short to medium term. And what would be needed here is private energy generation, which is happening to some extent, but it is quite limited. And it is very noticeable that the government is reluctant 
to allow for large scale private energy generation. And that is for ideological reasons um, that would be considered to be a threat to the state-owned enterprises and to the model of a, a capable centralized state that performs well and delivers good services to citizens. Um, but ultimately that is what would need to happen. The energy market would need to be opened up for private generation. And that would be the best way to get out of this hole that we find ourselves in, in a pretty quick time. Thanks for watching. This is an extract from an hour long briefing delivered recently by John Indres. If you would like to book John to address your next board meeting or client event, why don't you get in touch with us? There are links in the description below and in the pinned comment where you can find out more information about our briefing services, where we profile the main key driving forces in South Africa today and situate South Africa within a global context. My name is David Ansara. This is the Center for Risk Analysis. Until next time, take care.